tractor's on the front porch singing old familiar song. The tractor's in the barn and the pastor's freshly mown. Look in through the screen door, the aroma draws you in to the heart of the home where old memories begin. Cooking with her friends, sharing recipes together, stories and songs, making new memories the heart of the home. Welcome to Heart of the Home. It's a whole new year and I've got a whole new attitude. I've got a whole new year on my birthday too. Oh no, girls, I am celebrating getting older but getting better. This is a whole new year and we're going to have a better year than ever. The year starts out when your neighbor brings you a pound cake. Is this so simple? Awesome. I didn't have to do a thing except open the door. Now Paula Walker made this and we're going to share the recipe. I can see that it has lots of nuts. Regina, what else do you think's in it? Lots of butter. I can smell the butter. Mm -hmm. I can smell the butter. It smells wonderful. Mm, lots of And flavoring. Tammy Collins showed up with Amish bread. Have either one of y'all ever made this? I don't think I have. I haven't. Well, it's still warm. Now, Angie, you don't have a lot of time for cooking, do you? You're on the road a lot. You teach, and you sing, and you play music almost every weekend. Yes. And Regina, what have we said about you? There is no extra time for you, girlfriend. Today, you are going to have a photo shoot done at the chamber. Right. About 2 o'clock? About 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock, okay. And who's going to be doing the photo for you? Uh, your granddaughter. Absolutely. Miss, Miss Victoria. <laughs> Absolutely. She's excited about it. This smells great. And because it is my birthday, I, I decided I shouldn't be cooking. No. I shouldn't be cooking. But then I looked in my refrigerator and I found this leftover sweet potato souffle. And what is my thing? I can't throw anything away. So I decided we're going to make these tiny, tiny little, what will we call them? A, t a tiny sweet potato baked pie because basically we're going to take a biscuit break it in half flatten it we're going to put a little tiny bit of the sweet potato souffle in it and then when it comes out of the oven we're going to roll it in powdered sugar does powdered sugar make everything better oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah but i don't like to waste and this is my sweet potato souffle has honey brown sugar marshmallow cream, butter, and fresh sweet potatoes. And for you ladies who think about using canned sweet potatoes, don't you do it. Don't you dare do it. Don't ever use this, uh, ever, ever. Buy your sweet potatoes, bake them, and then just slice it and then dig all the meat out of there. Don't ever use a canned sweet potato. You know, can we get, could Tom Graves pass a bill on that? Could it be a law against we using sweet him. potatoes? I think we should. Mm -hmm. And if he won't, David Ralston will. Sure he will. We don't need, Southern cooks do not ruin your reputation by using canned sweet potatoes. These are pure, I think these came from North Carolina, and they are so good. But we're going to open some Hungry Jack biscuits, and we're going to put them in here, and it's going to be one of those simple things. Now, let's talk about some simple recipes. Regina, what did you give for Christmas gifts? A lot of these. <laughs> A lot of these. <laughs> we have to make it simple. We right. really do. You know, as working women, you have to keep it simple. The things I love, I chose simple recipes, and this happens to be everybody's favorite, the apple cinnabites. You started that recipe by a recipe you gave me, and then I improvised it right. and changed it from it was a cheesy, garlicky to a sweet, mm -hmm. and it's totally different now. But every recipe I chose in here, now the heritage pie I made because we picked up 50 bushels of black walnuts at the farm. Shirley and Betty come up every year and they just mound their truck full of black walnuts. These are wonderful. So this is a black walnut pie and I named it Heritage Pie. Now my sweet potato cobbler is so, so simple. Have you ever made that? Yes. It yes. is so good. Cornbread cake. Now a viewer sent me this recipe and I want to thank you for that because this is a recipe, the first time I made it, I thought, well, Silly girl, she didn't give me the right ingredients. It doesn't have a thing to do with cornmeal. It doesn't have cornmeal in it. But this is probably my favorite cake ever. And you cut it in little squares and it's thin and have that in a glass of Mayfield milk before you go to bed at night, you will be smiling. Now the sweet tart dessert is one we did up in Pigeon Forge. You were there that day. Right. 
that's the day that I couldn't remember Melton Campbell's name, and I called him something else. And we had to stop shooting as everybody lay in the floor giggling. And we picked ourselves up off the floor and went on. We did, we did. Now barbecue nachos, this is a recipe I love, and Angie, you know this, I love jalapenos. Mm -hmm. That's why you did the hot slaw for us on another episode. I love spicy things, and I like barbecue. I like the sweetness of the barbecue sauce, and I like the jalapenos. So we went to Wolf Creek Canyon, and that recipe was born from that. Okay, this is my favorite. Number one, because Jerry Ballou makes this recipe, and that man's got killer good looking legs. Have you ever seen his legs? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Man, next year we're doing a calendar of Jerry's legs. We are not doing <laughs> and a we're recipes sell next lots year. of calendars. <laughs> <laughs> he is such a good guy. Now, now he teaches Sunday school down in Woodstock, and he went to Alaska with us. And this is a recipe. It is garlicky. Ooh, it is garlicky, but it is so so good. So Jerry salmon dips on there. And Nick did a sweet and speedy cake. We were racing one weekend, and I bought an angel food cake, and Nick did that one. So it's easy, easy. Chicken Atherton. My Aunt Louise gave me this recipe. You will either love it or not love it. Now, I really like it because I like cranberries. It has whole cranberry sauce in it. Mm -hmm. um, Angela wasn't crazy about it, but I love it. So if company's coming, it's a good, it's good for company. My strawberry cobbler, everybody knows, is Delicious. the simplest with a Sprite. The only liquid in the recipe is you pour a Sprite over it. And there you go, no sugar, just the Sprite, and then you make a sweet crust. So, and our number one recipe ever, grab it and go. This is one of those things, I made it for a couple of weeks, it didn't have a name, and the kids kept coming in eating it, and they'd say, do you have any of that stuff ready? And I'd say, yeah, and they'd say, well, we'll just grab it and go. So there you go. The guys racing named it Grab It and Go. Okay. Absolutely the best thing I've ever made, Doreen's Chicken Bites. Now, Miss Doreen Lee was a guest on here a couple of months ago. She is 80 some odd years old, and she taught me a lot of what I know about cooking. And I think that's why it was important for me to pass on these recipes. These are recipes that I have tried, and they always work. And, and how many things do you attend, and how many events do you have to find something quick and easy? Very often. Very, Very often. often, yeah. And Angie, you don't have time to cook a lot. No. So and you feel bad if you don't take something exactly. when you go. Exactly. And like your hot slaw, you can make mm -hmm. it ahead of time. Now, Regina, what are some of your favorite things to make? Oh, uh, well, I like the uh, the asparagus, the ham and asparagus roll-ups that was actually a precursor uh -huh. to the, the Cenobites. We started out with something, you know, that was a regular food item, uh -huh. even though you can serve it for a, an hors d'oeuvre or, or, or something, you know, and improvised from there and one thing became another and uh, I love that and I love I love these too and I was just thinking when you were talking about Doreen that woman is a walking encyclopedia of oh, a fast to go type oh, food. Yeah. you know yeah. she she can whip up something you know, you say well I need something to go with this and I mean she just you know she can just spit it out and uh -huh. it's like, man she's just you know probably forgotten more than some of us <laughs> will ever know well, she's going to be food. back in the spring, and I can't wait to see her. I wish she could be here for my birthday, but yeah, now we have lady. got friends who brought us cakes. We have one that Paula Walker did, and then we have one that Tammy Collins did, and this, oh my gosh, is still warm, and it smells wonderful. Now, Amish bread is one of those things that's good with a cup of coffee, and in January, it's always cold. Of course, today, it's a beautiful day. It's in the 60s. We're going to take a break right now, and you're going to get to listen to some of the Barker Brothers. Now, Angela, have we chosen a song yet today? Are we going to just go to the let's, let's go, go let's go to the library of many songs by the Barker Brothers? We're going to surprise you guys when you come back. I think you'll be smiling because we're going to choose a really good one. Hang around, guys. We'll be right back. was so sound asleep in deep despair they woke the master he calls the winds and the waves to cease i want to stay in the boat with jesus i want to be close by his side i know if jesus is the captain he'll make it 
safely to the other side. Touch can make your skies turn bright. I want to stay in the boat with Jesus. I want to be close by His side. I know with Jesus is the captain, we'll make it safely to the other side. Stay in the boat with Jesus. I want to be close by His side. I know if Jesus is a captain, we'll make it safely to the other side. We'll make it safely to the other side. Wow, wasn't that a great song? Now, girls, okay, the cookbook just came out. The great thing about this cookbook is I can add to it anytime I want to revise. Now, the recipe we're doing today is leftover sweet potato souffle and Hungry Jack Biscuits cut in half. Now, Miss Regina, you've had the hard part, honey. Tell me what you're doing. I'm crimping these the little uh, mini pies, as I call them, with uh -huh. the fork. Something my grandmother used to do when she actually made her homemade fried pies. She right. would take the fork and go around the edges right. and make the little indentions. And then she would always go in the middle with her fork, uh, doing the little poofing on it to keep it from going poof all over, right. you know, when they're done or they're exploding in the oven. And so. girls, we decided there are 18 of these, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18 of these. Okay. okay, we've only used a quarter of the leftover sweet potatoes. Now, Angie, can you put that in the oven for us? We're going to bake this at 350 for about 10 minutes, and then we're going to just roll it in, in the powdered sugar. confectioner's sugar. Now, we could do a drizzle on top of it, but we're just going to roll it in this. We could do a caramel icing on it. There are so many different things. And what is a recipe? Only a, a beginning. beginning. Only a beginning. And I said, you know, that's the, th the new cookbook has to be, I have to add to it. And this is a recipe we'll add to it. And this is absolutely leftovers. Hey, it's my birthday. I don't want to do a whole lot of cooking. I just wanted to have friends over. We're going to have uh, maybe some hot tea using Savannah cinnamon. What do you think about that? Oh, that sounds good. Now, Regina, you use that a lot entertaining, do. don't you? I do. Angie, have you ever used it? I have. I put it in coffee the other okay. day. It's wonderful. I like the almond in coffee. I like the peach in lemonade for summer. And I love the blackberry. I did blackberry in lemonade the other day, and it was wonderful. So, you know, as working moms, we have to do something simple. Now, right now, we're going to take a break, and we're going to go to the DVD. This features the Barker Brothers doing the song that Angela wrote. You said it took you a couple of weeks? Yes. You're an amazing woman because it is dead on perfect. It is absolutely perfect for Heart of the Home. And I think it's a perfect way to glance back into yesterday. You know, it has our churn sitting there. It has our old basket sitting there. It has my Coca-Cola collection. I hope y'all will enjoy this. So sit back and enjoy the Barker Brothers doing my favorite song ever, the theme song for Heart of the Home. We'll be right back, guys. Walkers on the front porch singing old familiar song. The tractor's in the barn and the pastor's freshly mown. Look in through the screen door, the aroma draws you in to the heart of the home where old memories begin. The heart of the home is calling you in. Sherry's in the kitchen cooking with her friends, sharing recipes together. Sherry's in the kitchen, 
kitchen, cooking with her friends, sharing recipes together, stories and songs, making new memories a heart of the home. Making new memories a heart of the home. Welcome back. Oh my goodness, I love that DVD of Harry's Farm. Regina, I know I had great intentions, and I started out the year with fish and hot slaw, and I was really doing good, and then neighbors started bringing this stuff in, and this stuff gave me an idea. We took Savannah Cinnamon Praline, Angie, uh-oh, here comes Angie, oh no, here's the health nut, hey, <laughs> no, we're not doing anything bad. <laughs> We have taken, we just had these biscuits left over, and you know I don't like to waste anything. And then we had this praline mix, and then we had a stick of butter. Uh -oh. And then we had some coconut. And then we had this, this is really healthy, and I gave it to a lot of people for gifts. It's a nutrition. It's really good. It's nuts and cranberries and granola. And, and we just added a little butter and a little coconut and a little of this and a little of that. And we're going to stick it in the oven and bake it. And then we're going to serve it as a hot breakfast food for my birthday. What you think? This is going to be my cake. We're going to turn it upside down, and that's going to be my cake after it bakes. Regina, stick that in the oven. What is this, Miss Prius? That's so sweet potato cake. Sweet potato. Can we taste them? Are they still hot, hot? I think they're good. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Just enough sweet potato. Not too much bread. Regina, try one. Sure. Okay, leftover sweet potatoes that I possibly could not throw away. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. <laughs> oh, my gosh. They're Delicious. so good. They're light, not heavy. But what did we do with the leftover honey-baked ham? Oh, my goodness. We added it to some and put them in the oven. While we were on a break, we found something else to do. You know, I think we're going to have the refrigerator cleaned out before this show is <laughs> over. No, that's almost like little ham potato fritters or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. This is good. And it's just enough. You know, it's half of a canned biscuit. And a canned biscuit has 90 calories. So that's 45 calories for the half of the biscuit. And then the sweet potatoes, a tablespoon of sweet potatoes. How many calories could that possibly have? Be many. Not many. And that little, tiny little bit of sugar. These didn't even have butter in them. Because she kind of shook the sugar off. I so did. Mm -hmm. I tapped it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> So we're going to share a song with you now that I think will uh, bless you. And, and, you know, that's what it's all about. We want to come into your home. We want to bless you with good recipes, good friends, good thoughts, and have a positive attitude. And I think that's going to be very, very important for us in 2009. Yeah, positively turned 58 right now, but we're going to go on with it with a great attitude, just like the song we're about to share with you. Sit back and enjoy the Barker Brothers once again. <laughs> Sparkling earrings lay And pinched your skin so brown And I want to sleep with you in the desert tonight With the million stars all around I've got a peaceful, easy feeling Can't take you anyway. You don't already know how to go. I've got a peaceful, easy feeling. I know you won't let me down. Cause I'm already standing on the ground.
Something tells me I may know you As a lover and a friend But this voice keeps whispering In my other ear Tells me I may never see you again Cause I've got a peaceful, easy feeling I know you won't let me down Cause I'm already standing I'm already standing Yes, I'm Welcome back. Ooh, I'm caught. I'm caught. I thought I could sneak and take one of these out and try it while we were doing the song, but it's all over my black shirt. Well, now, Angela, what do you think about this? It looks delicious. Coconut is one of my favorite things. People either love it or hate it. Now, I like coconut. This has got the coconut, the praline from Savannah Cinnamon. It's got cranberries. It's got pistachio, almond. Wonderful. Now, this one, remember, has ham in it. So this one has the honey baked ham. Does that mean it's good for you? Nah, mm -hmm. maybe. This one, you can tell by looking at my shirt. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Jonathan, darling, you start with that because we're gonna go off the air with you picking your banjo again and we need to give you a little bit of protein. Is there any protein in that? Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe. Now we said your dad likes coconut. Some people do, some people don't. We have given you recipes today. We've got Paula's pound cake recipe. We've got Johnson's Mom's Amish bread. We're going to share this recipe. Did you help make that? Yes. Good. And this is my whatever. I started, I used to do this with just pecans, but I love coconut and I wanted something with coconut for my birthday. Nobody made me a coconut cake, so I made myself something. What you think of that? Now, Ann, what do you think of these? They are wonderful. And they're light. Not too sweet, That's just it. perfect. That's it. Now, I think Paula's pound cake is perfect too. It feels great. Why don't we do a seminar one day and have music and cooking? Oh, it would be great. Sounds like a good idea. We need a, a plan. We'll have to plan that. Now, Johnson, you want to try this, sweetie? Yeah. That's about as much sugar as any young girl <laughs> can ever stand. Oh, it's time to say goodbye. Thanks for being here for my birthday. It's been a wonderful day. We look forward to spending time with you, and we thank you for inviting us into your home. It's a great new year, guys. Bye-bye. I can feel the wheels are turning underneath my feet As they roll on the street and on my window seat Great where I'm going is better than where I've been the stranger sits down as if he's trying to go. Touches me and says, See, you're traveling alone. By the way, son, you forgot to say amen.
train slows down unexpectedly. I raise my blind and slash 